like when you have children, they're not all the same. And uh, they each have their own different kind of creativity. And if we required them all to be exactly like mom and dad, they'd, they'd be a mess. Um, whereas you let them go and develop their own thing, their own interests, they turn into something remarkable. And the same thing's true with church planting. If you make it be like the you know, first church up the street, they just fail. I know lots of people that say, look, uh, I'm not sure about Sunday morning. I work six days a week. Um, I don't particularly like to sing hymns. Uh, and I find myself wanting to say, yeah, I can, I can relate to some of those concerns, but the gospel is bigger than that. It's about more than that. And so I think it's exciting to see a group of people gathering together to say, look, the forms may have been wonderful. Uh, there's certainly, there's lots of people that still appreciate those traditional forms, but we don't have to be thinking that that's the way it has to be. I didn't come to faith until I was 20, and when I did, uh, all of my friends who, who were about as far from faith as you can imagine uh, began to say things to me like, if you were in charge of this ministry, I'd come. And so I became the college minister, and they didn't come, and later I became the pastor, and they didn't come. And, uh, and no matter where I've been, when I'm in the church, there has been this barrier between people. Uh, and while they have spiritual questions, they just won't come through the doors uh, and experience community. And so Fresh Expressions provides an opportunity, uh, or a vehicle rather, for us to, to go out in the community and be the body of Christ for people who, who aren't quite ready to come within our doors. And, um, and that, to me, is good news because we've got a rapidly growing segment of the population who, who are just spiritually seeking and, uh, and, and unwilling or unable to, to come and meet traditional churches. I think one of the uniquenesses of Fresh Expressions is that it involves the majority of the church in the majority of God's mission. A lot of our church planting efforts and renewal efforts even over the last 10, 15, 20 years have involved uh, people who want to do church planting, who are kind of avant-garde pioneers, and we need those people. They are trendsetters for us. But what Fresh Expressions does uniquely is it says that the established, inherited congregation has a central role to play in the future of the church here in the United States and provides practical tools for that to happen. Um, since we took away the need to act the same, um, we've had a lot more uh, growth of plants and uh, new expressions of the body of Christ taking place uh, in places we don't ever expect to see. Um, I think taking away a template that said you have to be this way to be a church um, set free the gospel and the creativity of different leaders to be able to um, do things that couldn't have been done um, if they had to follow somebody else's formula. I heard a great question which has just stirred my imagination that sort of shapes this conversation for me and that is who will never hear the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ if we in our various churches only continue to do the things we've always done? Who will be left out? Fresh Expressions is a movement that wants to say we can rethink and revisit the forms and the ways we've always done things for the sake of the gospel, and that's exciting.